Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Brent O'Leary. I'm Hammer Trinidad. We have the look at the Maker Movement later. And I'm Kale Lauk, and I have an interview about debate just right over there. All that and so much more. Your KNET News starts now. now. Please stand with us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go to www.botbkc.com vote and vote for the LNHS full steam ahead. Help some Eagles win a $50,000 grant and get to see their ideas come to life at Science City. Voting is open for five more days, and you can vote once a day per email, so get out there and vote as much as possible. And juniors, Mrs. Combs visited all the first semester personal finance classes to discuss college planning. If you are absent or if you're a junior and you have not enrolled in personal finance in either semester this year, you are welcome to attend as well. Uh, the makeup session is tomorrow, late start, at 8 a.m. in the Counseling Center. So the Maker Movement is a great event where students get a chance to compete in creating amusement park rides or anything they really want with Kinex, so let's take a look at that. Well, the Maker Movement um, started several years ago, and it's for kids, uh, young adults, um, and adult adults to start creating and thinking and problem solving and looking at um, things in a different way, maybe outside a different box. With all of this technology, sometimes we've lost our creative ability, and that's um, inhibited us a little bit when we come to solve problems. So we have Maker Events in the library to get kids thinking outside of the box, out of the traditional curriculum. Well, basically, I found a great uh, rubric. Dr. Camp helped me find it. We're going to be looking at creativity. Um, if they're able to solve the problem, they're going to be designing uh, an amusement park ride. Um, and it has to be green. So is that solar panels, wind energy? How are they going to do that? So how do they address the problem? How's that creativity? And um, just the final outcome of the project. Ooh, it has to include one simple machine. I almost forgot. All right, there are going to be flyers out around the school, and you on KNET will be giving it out. There's a tiny URL where they can go to find all the rules and to sign up, where they can see any of the four librarians that work at Liberty North High School. All right, and make sure to uh, sign up for that tiny URL uh, code that you see right here and, and sign up. It should be fun. Yes, and uh, speaking of competition, as we said earlier, Caleb has an interview with debate, so let's head on over to him. All right, what's up, North Nation? I'm here with varsity debater Brady Graves. So, Brady, some big news came out about the debate team uh, recently. What are you guys ranked? Uh, right now, we're ranked 24th in the nation. And what did you guys have to do to get there? Uh, it's really just a team effort. It's the debaters and the forensics kids, and it's just winning at tournaments. And what do you guys have to do to maintain that ranking? Uh, it's really just stay consistent right now. Just keep on trying to get better, and that's what we have to do right now. All right, congratulations, Brady, and congratulations to the whole debate team. Now let's head back up to the front with Hammer and Brent. All right, thank you. Uh, tomorrow's a full day, but it's still late start, so yes. last day. It should be pretty fun for Turkey Day, so that should be All epic. All right, yeah. Uh, have a good one, North. Until tomorrow, we'll catch, catch you on, on the North, north side. side.